Hello Bruins! Of the questions we get asked in the library, how to cite and use citation styles are some of the most common. To make things easy for you, we've created this series that breaks down each of the major components of the three citation styles used at KCC. This video focuses on the APA References page. At the end of your research paper, you want to include a list of every source you used while writing it. In APA, this is called the References page. This is probably the most complicated part of APA style, because each type of source will include different information. And depending on your instructor, you'll want to pay careful attention to little things like which parts are italicized and where all the commas go. Your APA reference entries will appear in alphabetical order by the first piece of the citation, and every citation will have a hanging indent, or every line but the first will be indented. As a general overview, each reference entry will have four elements. Author, who is responsible for the work. Date, when the work was published. Title, what the work was called. And source, where the work can be retrieved. As stated before, each type of source might have different information in each category. For example, while written works will have an author, for a film you would include the director instead. Here's what some of the most common source type citations will look like. A book citation will start with the author's last name and initials, followed by a period. Then the publication year in parentheses, followed by another period. Then the title in italics, with only the first word, any proper nouns, and the first word of the subtitle, this begins after a colon, capitalized, followed by a period. You would finish the book citation with the name of the publisher. This information can usually be found on the spine of the book, on the book's interior title page, or you can also usually Google the book to find this information as well. The Amazon listing will always include it if you're stuck. An article published in a journal, newspaper, or magazine will include the following. The author's last name and initials, followed by a period. Then the publication year, in parentheses, followed by a period. Then the title of the article, again with only the first word, proper nouns, and first word of a subtitle capitalized. Next will be the name of the journal, newspaper, or magazine in italics, followed by the volume, also italicized, and issue number it was published in. The issue number appears in parentheses and is not italicized. Finally, if you found the article online, you'll include a URL, name of the database where you found it, or something called a DOI, or Digital Object Identifier, which is a unique number you can use to find the article. A final example would be a web page. Again, include the author last name and initials, the publication year, title of the article, the name of the website is the publisher in this case, so you would include that italicized, followed by the URL as a hyperlink. Like with in-text citations, if you're missing information, you can often replace it with ND or not disclosed. The exception is if you're missing an author. You need to move another piece to that first slot so the citation doesn't begin with the publication year. In this case, you could use either the publisher or a shortened version of the title, depending on what you have. There are obviously many more source types than those three. If you want more examples, I recommend looking at the Pocket Prof or the resources shared on our APA research guide. Our databases also have a built-in citation tool which generates a citation for you based on the style you pick. APA is one of the first options listed. If you're using the citation generator, just take time to look them over for errors since they are computer generated and there can be some small formatting errors. As always, if you have more questions, please ask your Morris librarians. Thanks for watching.